Oh yeah, we can't say how much you pay your record. We can just say your right here on um, Google Play. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. And welcome to YYNet with Janice, and I'm your host, Janice, helping others to reach their goals. Um, today we have a spectacular guest, like normal, Osvaldo Piazze. I love that name. He is a musician, and our topic today is living your dream. Um, he's a musician, and he's living his dream. So let me introduce him. Hi, Osvaldo. Hi. How are you? It's good to be here. I'm, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. So. Um, let's just, one, I just love your name. Let's start right there. What's, where did your name come from, or your background? Uh, my parents are from Italy. Oh. Uh, and their parents are from Italy. And as far as I know, my great-grandparents are from Italy, so it's Italian, but uh, Osvaldo is also just Latin, and there's a lot of Osvaldos in Brazil and Colombia. And so okay. It, it, yeah. Okay, but <laughs> do you play like a... Italian music or romantic N music? Not particularly. Uh, I probably should. It would <laughs> <laughs> so but the music won't go completely with the name. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. You're unique. I was just curious because I, I just <laughs> love your name and how to pronounce it. Now, the topic is living your dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how did you even get into music? I know sometimes parents force you, you're going to learn to play the piano. I mm. give that to my kids. So how did you get into music? Uh... Almost on accident, uh, my dad was cleaning mm -hmm. out. He was doing some spring cleaning. Okay. And uh, he always had guitars. Mm -hmm. And on this particular occasion, uh, he brought out the guitar and had it just on the kitchen table as he was cleaning out stuff. This is when I was like 12 years old. Oh, okay. And um, I just started fooling around on it a little bit. And then I, I asked him to show me a few things. Mm hmm and that just kind of led one thing to another. Okay. Yeah. So your dad had all the good truths, but he didn't share it with you at a younger age. He wasn't playing them in the house at all? He was playing in the house, but okay. I, w I didn't have an interest at that time. Okay. Maybe maybe because I was going through puberty at the time. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. Or okay. it's just the, the, the air, uh, mm -hmm. something in the air. Okay. Yeah. And then you just saw that guitar, and you just it sparked an interest. Yeah. Okay. Once I noticed that I could kind of, I, I picked it up quicker than I did a lot of other things. Okay. I was never a sporty kind of guy. Okay. Actually, I was pretty bad at all sports. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I picked up guitar mm -hmm. um, fairly quickly, at least, you know. Okay. Yeah. Now, when did you take music lessons? Or did you just, I know some people, like my son plays by ear. He can just pick it up quickly. Is that you too? I mostly play by ear, yeah. You play by ear, okay. Although I did, uh, my dad showed me some things, and then I also used to watch instruction videos. Okay. Kind of, yeah. Do you recommend those for people? I've, I've always oh. seen them, and I'm like. And nowadays on YouTube, mm -hmm. just YouTube, you know, there's so much out there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's always local, um, I shouldn't. I shouldn't uh, tell everybody, oh, just go on YouTube, because there's a lot of guitar teachers that could really use some students, but right. and I know a few, but uh, YouTube is a great resource. Right. Oh, it's, okay. it's amazing. Well, I know not everyone can actually play off or like watch a video and learn it, how to do things. I know, like... But you can rewind it, you can play it slow. Slow it's, and back. It's amazing. And also, even combine that with a teacher also, probably. Yeah. Okay. So, was your first guitar actually a... Acoustic guitar that you picked um, up? No, it was an electric guitar. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> electric, okay. Yeah, and it was through an amp uh, that didn't have a grounded plug, 
So basically, sometimes you could get electrocuted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah. not the best way to start, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, it definitely gets you motivated or shocked into it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eventually, once my parents saw that I was interested, mm -hmm. um, they kind of helped me out and bought a, a slightly better amp. Okay. But so, but you started using your dad's Oka guitar. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, you've been playing then since 12 years old? So the minute you saw the guitar, you picked it up and started with it, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Do you play any other instruments? Play a bass, bass okay. guitar. Bass I actually guitar. play. I've played bass in a few bands, mm -hmm. just similar to guitar. Uh, I play a little piano, but I wouldn't c feel comfortable just busting okay. it out. Yeah. Okay. Now you also, from playing the guitar, I don't know how many years of lessons it took you to actually start forming, making the song actually sound like a song. But you also make your own music too. Yes. And you write and you sing. Yeah. Okay. So, how were you inspired to actually uh, start writing your own songs? I know a lot of people, I think, play other people's songs first to get the hang of it. Right. Was that more of your inspiration just to play other people's songs? Or you're like, oh no, I'm playing my own. That's a good question. <laughs> um, because uh, a lot of people, they'll tell me that they, they, get um, writer's block when they try to write something. I oh never really? had that problem. Oh, really? Um, maybe because I always felt like I had something different to say. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I was also very shy about my voice in the beginning. Okay. To the point where I didn't... I only played guitar for like 10 years and didn't sing. Oh, really? I only started singing a little later. Okay. Yeah. So you were more comfortable or shy and preferred being like in the background? Kind of, yeah. Okay, because you said you played in other bands too. Yeah. So what type of bands were those? Um, rock, uh, mostly. Rock? Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, some, you can kind of say pop also. We, okay. we would do like some of the hit songs of the time. Okay. Yeah. Now were those like... Um, I guess you can say teen bands, like with yeah. um, like your high school buddies got yeah. together and did right. that. Did you ever perform doing that, like um, in quite the high school or a a talent contest? Quite a few times. Okay. And it, it was senior year when I started also singing and playing myself and my own songs. But okay. Yeah, I, I used to play with my close buddies, who are still my buddies. They're your buddies. Yeah, but oh. they, everybody's got their own life. That, but uh, yeah, I've been in like three or four bands. Okay. Now, even just as the, that, 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 yeah, everyone has their own life. Now, why did you stay in it, into music? I'm assuming once people, high school band is great, mm -hmm. and then once they get to the college age, and now here might be the wife, the kids. Yeah. People put the guitar down. They put that piano aside. Yeah. They put those dreams they had before, whoop, aside. Right. But you didn't. No, not at all. So what sparked your interest to stay with it? Um... Maybe this is the ego talking, but I think I'm kind of good at it. Okay. Uh, and I'm not good at a lot of things. <laughs> 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 so that's kind of part of it. And another part of it is it's therapeutic. Okay. It's also very social. I've met a lot of cool people just mm -hmm. through music. Um, it's a positive um, influence for sure. Uh, I just, I love listening to music. I love going to shows. Uh I really enjoy writing a song and that feeling of completion. Okay. Um, and I, I also, I, I kind of never seem to run out of ideas. Okay. Um, I've written like 500 songs. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Some of them oh. are the same music but different lyrics. Okay. Or the same lyrics but different music. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, basically... I don't know. I, I've even got a few rap songs. Wow, you're yeah. all over. But uh, yeah, eclectic. I think that's what it is when you're all I over. I try. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, most people, in my opinion, when it comes to playing music, hearing music, writing songs, that is really a gift. Okay. Um, how does your faith? You think that's a gift that maybe God possessed on you? Because you said you weren't really good in sports, but this is something you're really good at. Do you contribute? your talent to your faith in God, he blessed you with that, or what do you think? I do think that there's the certain setting for how I created 
w my songs and how it everything has led up to where I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th uh, you know, I was, I have a good family. I had a good childhood. Th my parents, I gotta say, were very supportive of my artistic stuff. I'm an only child. Okay. So I had so a lot of time to ruminate and, <laughs> and think about, like, instead of, like, maybe uh, some other kids. Mm -hmm. So I think it's all part of the... The DNA, DNA, you know, it's, th there's something there that isn't in our control. Right. You know. And sometimes you might hear that whisper of, oh, that's a good tune. I should, this pops in your head. That's a good tune. And wondering where it came from out of the air. Yeah. Maybe inspiration from God. Sure. Well, I was talking about um, your songs and inspiration. Um, let's hear one for a moment, okay? okay? Uh, we're going to take a little cut off from our conversation, and we're going to listen to one of Oswaldo's songs. Thank you. Okay. Should I start? Yeah. Okay. Follow the facts and not the leader Don't you know he is a cheater There are seven sides to every story Sometimes the truth is boring Follow the facts and not the leader He is no miraculous healer Use your own two eyes Count how many times he lies Follow the facts and not the leader Be an overachiever The poor will usually be straightforward The feeble-minded rarely come toward Follow the facts and not the leader It's all a part of political theater The businessman is the politician The gullible believe in superstition Okay, and you wrote that one all on your own. Yep. Inspired that one. Perfect. Great. I know um, people can find you also on Google Play. Uh, you're on Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Amazon. They can look you up and see more information about you and your music. Yes. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit more about um, what would you even say to someone who wants to get into being a musician, get into playing an instrument or even writing your own songs. What type of inspiration or motivation would you uh, 
um, advice you give to someone? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> come up with good questions. <laughs> well, I might sound like an old man here, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to say what my parents told me and be like, it's good to follow your dream for mm -hmm. sure. But, uh, you know, when you're trying to get into show business, it's not like getting into um, trying to be a teacher or a fireman. You know, you there's a lot right. of... So you, you're going to want to have a steady other side... Side job. Side job, yeah. Um, but as far as, like, creating, mm -hmm. uh, allow yourself to try something new or give yourself parameters of like a song that you want to write mm -hmm. uh, or even a melody on the guitar. Okay. Um, like, for example, if you're stuck in a rut, you know, try to do something with only the first two strings and mm -hmm. do as much as you can with the first two strings. Okay. Forget about the other ones. Mm -hmm. and you'll come up with something new, I, I guarantee you. Okay. It's so uh, try something different, think out the box. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do like what you said about um, your parents, definitely. Um, when it comes to getting into any type of entertainment, mm -hmm. it is very hard. Yes. And I know there's a lot of celebrities that said, oh, no, I made sure I just gave up everything. I burned my ships, mm -hmm. hopped in the car, went to Hollywood, and didn't look back, slept in my car, and everything else. Yeah. Um, those are cases of one in a million. Mm. Um, so definitely making sure you have something secure while you're still having time to pursue your dream mm -hmm. is one of the best advice for most people. Right. Right. So it, this way you can still eat. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> and have time to pursue your dream. And you haven't put down the guitar, which is great. Because you don't want to be asking people for money either. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless you're being paid, yeah, yeah. for the show. But you don't want to have to call mom and dad no. and uncle and aunt or yeah. sell your car. I, yeah, no. I understand that. And there's a lot of people that are still successful that way, too. Yes. Most people do get successful that way. And you have to be a certain level of outgoing and being able to make friendships with people mm -hmm. and go to other people's shows and support other people. Oh, yes, and, absolutely. You know, and vice versa, you know. Right. But you'll you'll meet a lot of people, and so. and when it comes to anything, business, entertainment, the more people you know, the friends, uh, your associates, people you know can get you to places. Definitely, people need to pursue that. Right. And also, I love the fact that definitely go support other people. Yeah. 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 It's that when you see some of these celebrities, it's all about them. Yeah. Then people don't like that no. sometimes. No. Right. You gotta stay humble. Yeah. Yes. No matter what stage you're at. Yes, you got to stay very, very humble. Yeah. Now, how often do you go out to, um, do you go out to, um, I guess you call them clubs, I think. Am I that old? Uh, do you go <laughs> out to clubs or um, places to play music? Sure. How often do you try to do that? About once a month. Once a month, okay. So, like a, a regular gig, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also just sometimes just play for free, too. Okay. I enjoy playing anywhere, but yeah, usually... Once or once every other month. One real gig a month. Yeah. Now, how do you even um, give some people advice? What do you even do? Do you go into, like, do you call these places up, tell them about your music, and just try to get gigs that way? You know, in the beginning, I'm assuming. Sometimes it's that, uh, mm -hmm. or sometimes it's just, um, you know, somebody asks you, oh, we need an opening act, or, mm -hmm. or hey, we have an opening uh, two months from now. Okay. And we're looking for an act on Friday night. Or okay. Uh, when you're a solo acoustic guy, uh, you know, you you can kind of get in a lot of different places because you can play a coffee shop or you can play oh. open for a band at a larger venue. Mm -hmm. It depends. Right, coffee shops. I remember um, television show Friends. They yes. would have someone in the back playing in the coffee shop yes. that they were all hung out at. Yes. Correct. Okay. Sure. So, um, like, even with that playing with different coffee shops, you're meeting people, mm -hmm. you've written your songs, and you've put your songs out there. Mm -hmm. Is even that hard? I mean, trying to get your own soundtrack, is that, you know, really difficult? Is that something that even the regular, ordinary Joe or Susan can go figure out? Um, it takes a lot of cones. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you get uh, your ego bruised, for sure. 
So you need to have you need to have some kind of you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get your ego boost. Yeah, yeah, I guess you would, you, you know. know. Especially if people, you know, might reject you, but you have to keep going. Yeah. And you keep pursuing that. Right. Okay. And then eventually you'll get enough following and people because you're also on like Facebook. Do yeah, you have to go on Facebook a lot and show new songs? Sometimes or YouTube, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I record pretty much okay. every song I write. write. Mm -hmm. um, first for myself, just to hear it back and okay. how I can tweak it. Mm -hmm. and then I share it with people. I think nowadays um, music is so readily available mm -hmm. that uh, that's almost the way you got to do it. You know? oh. Now, what do you think about even that with music? I hate to say it, but a lot of people, um, I'm assuming they still share a lot of music. Then you get YouTube, people download stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it even worth it for people to go out there to try to do their own songs? Or does the money come from, um, after you do your own songs, doing the shows versus trying to sell a record on Amazon or Google Play or something like that? Where is the money? Why do people pursue it <laughs> if people are downloading free songs? <laughs> uh I'm not the best person to answer that. <laughs> Maybe ask Paul McCartney or Kanye West or something. <laughs> but no, I mean, uh, the future is, is that way, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you're seeing more... Um, you're seeing more complete package deals with an artist and how they make their money. Um, it's not from the album sales. It's okay. from merchandise and licensing mm -hmm. like having their song in a commercial okay or on a show for mm -hmm. sure so really you got to think a lot bigger than putting that song out there sure you got to have the act the package yeah. and that's where money and the pursuit yeah. of totally living your dream is going to come to yeah okay mm. um, now even with that you do your own recording and you put the songs out there on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Do you have to hire your own recording studio or you do all that like at home? Um, there's a service um, called CD Baby that um, they're like a middleman mm -hmm. and uh, you know you give them a little bit and they can put your music on Amazon and all that stuff. Oh, okay. But the recording stuff, uh, I've recorded a lot of stuff on my own, mm -hmm. I'm on my home computer, but okay. I've also gone to uh, Several friends have even nicer setups than me, mm -hmm. and uh, they've helped me out and recorded some of my songs. Okay. Um, I've gone to a few pro-level studios to record a few songs. Mm -hmm. um, but my three albums, though, uh, two of them I recorded at my place, one of them at my buddy's. Okay. Uh, so you have three albums out? Yes. Perfect. And people can know where to go look at. Like we said, we had your name flashed on there. Osvaldo Passe? Yes. Yes, and Google Play, iTunes, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. They can always even look and see where you're at. And maybe if you're somewhere at a guitar, uh, a coffee house, they can pull up their <laughs> guitar with you and play one day. Could be, yeah. Meet you there. Um, I guess we have a few more minutes to talk. Um, uh, one last piece of advice, and we'll play another song real quick. Okay. okay. Um, give me another piece of advice for someone who they got their song, and what do you say the first thing they want to do to go out there and give it a try in front of an audience? Give it advice, what to say to them. They're going to go on stage the first time or something. First, play it at home several times. <laughs> um, let it boil mm -hmm. in the pot. Okay. And see what you want to add or subtract, mm -hmm. kind of like you're making a spaghetti or something. Okay. And... Uh, and then if you have the means, uh, nowadays everybody's got a cell phone with video or whatever, mm -hmm. record it. Okay. Then listen to it back. Think about it in terms of, like, as a listener, not y your own. And you kind of have to be your own critic because a lot of people will BS you and say, oh, it's great, or... <laughs> You know? Yes, <laughs> or the oh, I love or, it! Or the opposite. Some people will be like, oh, oh. I, I thought that was... Awful, you know, yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta be able to be comfortable in your own skin and not listen to all the critics and listen to some critical critics and just understand what's good and what's bad. 
to, for yourself. Another piece of advice mm -hmm. that's also not songwriting advice, but okay. is just be a lover of art and different kinds of music. Because when you like all kinds of, when you have a lot of interests, mm -hmm. you're, you expand your vocabulary. So okay. it brings a lot to your songwriting and your Okay. Whatever your art. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we got time for half a song. So oh, okay. if you want to play half a song, <laughs> sure, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I talk too much. Sorry. No, fine. <laughs> go ahead. Sing the old song. The new one don't make sense. The one about the breeze and the pretty trees. Sing the old song I can't see straight My head is a mess My head is a mess About the leaves and the jumping squirrels and the pretty ladies sing the old song. The new one don't make sense. I have to confess. I have to confess. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thanks. <laughs> yes, I, I love it. Um, um, people can find you, um, Osvaldo Passe. Yes. Um, people can find you on Google and um, Google Play and YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> and play that old song. Yeah, uh, That's one of them, yeah. <laughs> why, why not <laughs> play the old songs? Um, thank you for joining us. Um, check them out. Um, stay tuned for another episode. Love to have you watch us again. Have a nice evening. This is Janice with Why and Why Not. Good night. Peace. <laughs>